What's up everyone, my name is Parth and you are watching Infopel and this is Fireport 1200. Now the reason why I seem to be confused is because there are so many names of this particular headphone in different websites. Like in Amazon and Flipkart, it sells in the name of Fireport 1200. In Fireport official website, it sells in the name Fireport 120. And the package that it came in, it had written Fireport 1200. So you understand the confusion. Not only the name, even the pricing is different in different websites. Like in Amazon and Flipkart, this thing is available for 3000 rupees whereas the official Firebolt website it is available for 2000 rupees however beside all this there are two main reasons why i was interested in this particular headphone one because some of you suggested me this and two there are so many positive reviews of this particular headphone in amazon and flipkart so naturally i got very interested about this particular headphone and wanted to test this so i ordered it and i have been using it for last couple of weeks and here is my short review don't buy this. Yes. Let me explain why. Let's start with the build quality, which is really poor. Right from the cheap plastic, mediocre paint job, the clicking joints and not so refined finish. The moment you take this up in your hand, you will feel that it is not so sturdy. You may think I'm a bit harsh, but let's hear this. Don't worry, I did not break this. This is just the noise it makes when folding. Even the buttons, they are made with even cheaper quality plastic, but only saving graces, they feel tactile. The only positive thing that comes out of this build quality is it is lightweight. And paired with the soft cushioning, this headphone can be worn for a long time. Even though the cushion is soft, it does not seem to be durable. You may be thinking that I am ranting a lot about the build quality, but this headphone cost rupees 2000. If it was under 1000 rupees, it would have been acceptable. But the thing is, in this modern era where the manufacturing facilities are so well, it is hard to come across this kind of poor build quality, even if the product is a budget one. Now let's talk about all the features features this headphone has so it has bluetooth of course and also you can plug in an aux cable when you run out of juice it also has a micro sd slot i don't know who uses that in a headphone nowadays but it is there if someone does it also has an inbuilt fm radio which in this modern era of podcast and streaming music still brings a smile in my face now another aesthetic feature that this headphone has is the glowing lights which may appeal a lot of people i have to say that even though i am not a person who gets attracted to these kind of features but the implementation seems to be done really well and also it does not affect the battery life that much which brings me to the endurance of this headphone which is really good they claim to have a battery life of 20 hours and they do deliver in my usage i almost got a battery life of 20 hours with a volume around 80 percent they charge via micro usb cable but strangely they have not included one in my packaging instead they included two aux cables that says quite a lot about their quality control Another good thing about this headphone is connectivity. It has Bluetooth 5.0 and it connects really fast. There is no drop-in connection and it is one of the best headphones in terms of the Bluetooth range. I have used this particular headphone from quite a distance and it seemed to perform really well even if there is a wall in between. Now let's talk about the most important thing the sound quality and let's start with the good things the output of these headphones are good there is ample volume the sound signature is more focused towards the vocals so the mids are crisp and clear even the upper bass is quite punchy now one of the good thing of this headphone is even though it is a on the ear headphone but it still does not bleed out a lot of noise outside and also does a good job of blocking outside noise when you are listening to this headphone and also there was no noticeable latency when i was using 
using this to watch something online but that's about all the good things in the sound quality just like the build quality the sound quality do seem to be mediocre and there are two main reason for that one of the reason is the overall sound quality feels kind of congested it is like there is some kind of barrier which reduces the sound quality and that is the reason why the lower bass and the highs feels muffled now there are different type of equalizer in this headphone but when the sound quality is inherently bad there is hardly anything that an equalizer can save and the second thing is there is a kind of imbalance in the left and right ear channel the left ear channel seems to have more output compared to the right ear channel now this problem can be specific to my unit however it is noticeable and it was quite irritating for me so to conclude because of all the underlying problems that this headphone has right from the build quality to the sound quality it is really difficult for me to recommend to anyone however if you have any further question do let me know in the comment section and also let me know if you want to see a detailed comparison with Port Rocker 600. Anyway, that will be all for this video. Until next time, my name is Parth, signing off for InfoPel, and I'll see you in the next video.